Today I'm gonna to put the crew to the test. They have 60 seconds to find the animal that I tell them to find. If they don't find that animal, there's gonna be a consequence. Let's start with what's my favorite snake? C go. Go! Oh. Crazy, because to be honest with you, it's so easy to figure out who my favorite snake is. It's not even really what the question is, it was a trick question. Favorite snake? I have keys. Is this what we're supposed to be doing? Why am I the only one with the snake? I don't know what to do. Wait. What are we guessing again? Brian's favorite snake. It's not plural. The favorite snake. Your absolute favorite. favorite snake? It's not freaking Oz. <laughs> that definitely is not it. I thought it was this favorite. First off, uh, I can't believe that only Noah got that Ivy was my favorite snake. That was actually a trick question. So you guys have 60 seconds to find the real question. What is my second favorite snake? 60 seconds, go. I have to put her back and find another one. I don't bend well in this suit. Wait, is it a snake? Or a yeah. snake? Is it a snake? I know who it is. Sunrise. Come on, Pradeedee. Sweet baby. Sweet baby girl. Not food. Not food. Are you disactivated? Okay. Sunfire. Ah! Okay, maybe not sunfire. God, he's trying to get out of sunfire. <laughs> Look at her right now. Pradeedee. Oh, your dad took the keys. Noah, do you think Perdita's his second favorite snake? Yeah, I do. That's why I'm in here. I think that it's Lucy. Mike, switch. let's get her out. What the heck is Noah? Hey. Would you get locked in? Yeah, is Perdita your second favorite? You guys have 10 seconds left. Oh, we all we only have 10 seconds. Go, 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 go. I got her. I got her, Mike. Mike, Mike get to the front. We're out of time. Sorry, guys. Time's up. Put her back. Where'd she go? Mike, she's pooling all over me. Oh, you're entirely soaking wet. It's just water. It's just, it's just water. Who wanted to get her out? You picked her. We have to get her out. I need the keys. I don't have the keys. You got the keys. Jeez, oh, okay, guys, good job. Uh, unfortunately, Mike and Jay, you lose. Good try, but it's not the 100 flower rat snake. Okay, Noah, you it. win. What? Adina is my second favorite snake. Noah won, so he's exempt. Everyone else has a challenge. Okay, guys, hands in your pockets. What? No, I can't do pockets. Hands in your pockets. What if I I'm have to pee, my... kind of? It's going to press my bladder. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have to slither from here to the pond. Whoever gets there last loses. You ready? Question. Down. Question. Can I do my hands again? Set, go! Oh, you guys are good at this! One of the hardest things to do is to pick like the top five most favorite animals I have. So many amazing animals here. Top five, it would definitely be Night Fury, my number five pick. What a beautiful animal. And of course, he's a motley golden child reticulated python. <laughs> oh, no, don't do oh, 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 oh. He didn't, he never said that. We couldn't do that. Then of course there's Bugatti, the Bolins Python. This is a tough one. And what you have to remember is any one of these animals could be really anywhere in the top five. For that matter, every animal in this place could be in the top five. But Bugatti, the Bolins Python from Papua New Guinea is one ripping of an animal. I win! Wait, come on! You and your back! What are you doing? <laughs> because she doesn't even have her hands in her pocket. Coming in at number three, and this is so hard to say because I love this snake so much. And of course, that's Sunrise, my albino Burmese python. You guys remember I got her when she was just a tiny baby. And now look at how big she's getting. She's definitely getting big and heavy and an absolutely beautiful snake. Hard to put her at number three, but I had to do it. All right, Connie loses. What do I get? And obviously, like I mentioned, Ivy, my green anaconda. To be honest with you, my favorite snake I've ever owned in my entire life. The relationship we have is absolutely incredible. And I love the fact that people think anacondas are such mean and aggressive animals and she is such the polar opposite that it's changing people's opinion about how amazing anacondas are because connie lost first challenge she's actually Woo! penalized by 10 seconds everyone else has 60 seconds to find this next one she only has 50 seconds what is my third favorite lizard at the reptarium go, go! not you connie eight seven six Five, one, go Connie. Woo! And while those guys are searching, you may have noticed that I have some new swag on. That's right, Reptile Army has new holiday drops, so we have a bunch of different colors, like this one here and a bunch of other ones. But don't worry, you don't have to search as hard as these guys. All you have to do is go to reptilearmy.com. Come here, Bitter Juice. Come, come, come. Continue to come. I am your friend. Are you guys working together? Yeah, we're going for toothless on this one. We're not losing this. Does he bite? No, he doesn't bite. He's toothless. He doesn't even have teeth. Ow! Oh my. Wow, good boy, Beetlejuice. 
Don't look. step in the pee. Is it Beetlejuice? Is it Toothless? Is it Diddy? Unfortunately, I love all of these and they are all in the top five, but you didn't hit who my third favorite lizard is, so you all lose. My third favorite lizard is Waffles. Waffles? What? Liar. I like Waffles. Thanks to Raycon for sponsoring this video. You know I've been loyal to Raycon for years and I absolutely love them. Ironically enough, this is the first pair of Raycons I ever got and I'm still using them. They make an absolutely great gift with this holiday season. They're wireless earbuds, headphones, and speakers off from premium sound, useful features, almost custom, comfortable fit, and up to 54 hours of battery life. And like I mentioned, Raycon makes an incredible holiday gift. You want to buy one for your wife, your mom, your brother, your sister, your co-workers. And if I were you, I would just knock out that entire list by using Raycon's bundle and save up to 30%. Here's one of my favorite bundles right here. And now you can actually find Raycons in some stores like Kohl's and Walmart. But remember, you're always going to get the best deal by using my special link. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash Brian B. Use the code early BF to get 20% off site-wide or save even bigger and get 30% off Raycon's exclusive holiday bundles. There will also be different deals coming throughout the season and I'll try to keep the description box updated with the latest offers. But just so you know, you can always go to buyraycon.com slash Brian B and get the best deals available on Raycon. Since you all lost, there's no one exempt from this next challenge. This challenge is called the Lizard Relay Race. Uh -huh. For the Lizard Race, they're going to have to run over to these plushies, knock them off with their tail whip, and run on all fours over to the muffins and eat them without their hands. I have a question. On my toes or on my knees? All fours, whichever you want. Knees or feet. Are you guys done complaining? No, wait. Hey, I was there. winning too. Go. Get away. You're walking. That's right, waffles. Oh, you smell even extra maple -y today, little buddy. And again, it is so hard because we have some amazing lizards here at the Reptera, but look at this dinosaur right here. How could he not make the top three? He is absolutely stunning. This one hurts to not say that Elvis isn't the number one favorite lizard, but you know I love one lizard and I've loved her since the very beginning. Elvis is definitely more like a 1A, 1B type of an animal. This thing is ridiculous. And I don't know how I could go without, like, without an animal like Elvis. He is just my baby for sure. What kind of muffin is this? Why is it green? Mine is good. How do you think I'm done? Honey, what kind do you have? Chocolate chip. <laughs> this is disgusting. It's, it's not good. <laughs> Freaking worst muffin ever. Why did Tiny get the chocolate? Can we get the banana nasty? It's banana nasty. Very nasty. My stomach hurts. I'm done. Okay, Mike loses. I'm done. Guys. I don't know. Don't remind me of nothing. But you guys know that I've said that the reptarium probably would have never happened if it wasn't for this one animal here, Bella, my rhino iguana. She is definitely the most special animal that I've ever owned in my entire life. And she's amazing. And there's no way that she'll ever get dethroned as number one because I love her so much. I don't know what they're talking about. These are good. Because Mike lost, he has a 10 second penalty. He only gets 50 seconds to find my third favorite frog in the reptarium. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is a toad a frog? In this case, yes. Come here, Al. Mossy frog. White tree frog. Watch out for the pee. Toad's not a frog, oh it's a toad. Is this a this frog, one? guys? That's, That's a, a toad. toad. Get out of here. That is amazing. You guys did a really good job. But guess what? Connie won. <gasps> so she what? is exempt from this next contest. And that contest is Leaping Frog Contest. Oh, boy. Oh, oh my God. Connie won the contest. She squirted on it off. For the frog competition, they're going to have to leap frog all the way across the Reptarium. Once they get here, they're going to have to catch the M&Ms in their mouth like a frog. The last one that catches three loses. You guys ready? Yeah. Froggy, go. Top four frogs that we have here at the Reptarium. Number four, we're coming to this little buddy here. This is actually a poison dart frog, but they would call it Dendrobates tinctoris azurus, the blue, beautiful animal. Now, you don't want to pick these guys up, not because they're poisonous, because the poison actually happens from what they eat in the wild, but if you touch them, you can actually hurt the animal. So when you do pick them up, you want to always have a glove on them so you don't have the oiliness of your hand that could actually hurt the animal. It's absolutely wonderful and definitely comes in at number four. You're throwing bad to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Underhand. What are okay. you doing? The Amazonian milk frogs. Absolutely wonderful animals. I've loved them from the time that I first saw them, and it's so cool. We don't have nearly enough frogs at the Reptarium, to be totally honest with you. We definitely need some more, and they are definitely jumpers, though. But Amazonian milk frogs, some of the coolest patterns, and really can make really good pets, and as you can see, uh, very athletic. Oh, I got that. 
Got it! Two for Mike! Oh, why do I get all the crappy throw? Give me the- no. Mike! Ah. Mike! Yeah. <laughs> what are these throws? Oh, is that all right, no one loses. That's so rigged. So theoretically, Al is actually a toad, but really he's kind of a frog, if you know what I mean. Semantics at that point. He's definitely the coolest frog slash toad that we have here at the Reptarium. Just look at the size of him. I mean, he is absolutely giant. How could you not love a face like that? Since Noah lost the leapfrog, he has a 10 second runoff on this next challenge. You just have to go to the enclosure and tell me it so you don't have to take it out. What is my fourth favorite bug at the Reptarium? Go! Taking a nap is nice. 10 seconds is all you need. I'm getting the millipede. What am I looking for? A bug of what favorite level? Four. Oh, I like five. Fifth favorite bug? The Goliath birdie did. Tarantula is his fourth favorite. So what do you think his fourth favorite bug is? I think it's the Goliath bird eater. I think I don't want you to open that, bro. I think it's a scorpion. Super worms. Well, it happens that Jay won. It was the bird eater. What? So he gets exempt from this contest here. I have $200, Whoa. and because bugs typically find a lot of their food, they're either antenna or hairs that they feel around. Each of you get a blindfold. Why do I gotta be exempt? I want the money. I'm gonna floor leaves on the floor. Whoever finds the money wins, and whoever does it is the loser. Top four creepy crawlies here at the Reptarium. Coming in at number four is this cute little monkey right here, which of course is an African giant millipede. These things are so cool, and I used to be so creeped out by them, but now I think they're absolutely amazing. That, what is this? Who is this? Who is that? Where did you find them? I'm scared to get my hands stepped on. This is another tough one when it comes to number one and number two because zombie is such a good animal. This is the animal we take out more than any other tarantula because of how docile it is. Of course, a Chilean rose-haired tarantula, but unfortunately, there has to be a winner, so she's coming in at number two. Who is that? How did he do that? Whoa, relax there, Mike. But for number one, because of how beautiful she is, Beauty the Black Brazilian Tarantula. Now, interestingly enough, she used to be super docile. I used to be able to take her out and hand her to anybody. For any tarantula experts out there, let me know in the comments what you think happened. She molted about a month ago, and she went from being the tamest tarantula I had, like literally could take her out no problem, and now if you take her out, she tries to bite you every single time. So let me know what the heck is going on. But still, even though she's a little cantankerous, she still is my favorite tarantula that I own. Mike, you have lost two challenges now, meaning that you're the extreme loser. Up, and Mike. you have the last consequence. Go get the lizard costume. What do you mean lizard costume? I'm so stupid. Mike, you look absolutely amazing. Go ahead and get out there. Speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember... <laughs> I'm done!